It's late December, and snow is falling in the Czech Republic. At the Dvor Kroklov Zoo in Prague, four of the world's last eight northern white rhinos are preparing for a journey. Their destination? The old Petrida Conservancy in Kenya. Scientists hope that returning these rhinos to their native Africa will encourage them to breed. Eliminated in the wild by poaching, the future of the northern white rhino depends on these four. After being loaded into specially designed crates, the northern white rhinos make the trip safely, arriving at the Nairobi airport and trucking to Old Pechita, where they are anxiously awaited. There was a slight choke up seeing those lorries come around because suddenly everything was, was so focused and, and you see them pop around the corner and it was just huge relief, especially the last one. See that last one step out of the box, that was, that was everything. But that was easy to be honest, compared to what we've got to do now. The old Pejita Conservancy was chosen for the Northern White Rhino recovery effort because of their success in protecting black rhinos from poaching, which are also critically endangered. Just on, on these four animals, we've put everything we can. We've got two mobile, mobile teams, four-man teams. One within this 200-meter area that we, that we are, that are here all night. They're, they're armed, they have night vision, thermal imagery, everything they need. To, We've replicated that directly up the fence. So there's a huge amount of people in here. After getting their footing, they've taken to Kenya right away. You know, so far so good, they're, they're really getting along well, so. Hello, what about you? They've really grown affectionate yeah. towards you. Yeah. They're having a great time. You can sense it though, they seem so, you know, they just seem really happy and enjoying exploring and scratching against the posts and I mean you know the most amazing thing was ex with the exception of Sudan the rest of them were born in captivity and they've never grazed grass in their life so when they came out here and within minutes they were getting stuck into all these fresh grasses and that you know that's natural instinct kicking in which is going to sort of be happening from here on out so, and just the smells the heat I mean it, even for us when we got here when I mean, you can just feel that warmth and change in temperature and it's just relaxing it's instantly so all these things are going to be doing a lot of good. The Northern White Rhino recovery effort is just a small piece of a larger conservation movement taking hold across northern Kenya. We're also working with a variety of other organizations, including um, the Nature Conservancy, including the Northern Rangelands Trust, um, to, to stimulate conservation in areas of northern Kenya, uh, which is becoming very successful where conservation hasn't taken place for uh, the last 30 or 40 years.